So my friends constantly nagging me and stuff like that, you know, buy something American, guys. I went to classic firearms and I did. I bought an ATI Omnimax, the AR platform, 5.56223. Excellent round, guys. The AR rifle, guys, I'm not going to complain a lot about. When I was in the military, I think per mag, you can blame whoever you want, guys. It's always a different excuse. You can blame me, the soldier, who cleaned the thing religiously. Uh, you can blame the weather. You can blame the mud. You can blame the environment. Colt blames uh, the, am the ammunition, whoever was making the ammunition. But per mag, guys, I would have three failures. And anyone who knows me knows I don't tolerate failures in a rifle. I will fix it in a heartbeat. Let me tell you the story about the ATI, guys. And let me just say this. The ATI Omnimax is not here. All right. Let, let me lay this on your ear. Because I took that ATI Omnimax and I traded it for this. If the zombies were coming out, guys, and all I had was $450, $500, I would get this in a heartbeat. And I did. I did because, guys, not because I'm picking American versus non-American. I'm picking reliability because when poop hits the fan, I would rather have something that I can depend on and that's reliable as opposed to something that's made in any other place. Let me just say this, guys. Start from the beginning of what happened to that ATI. Bought it from Classic Firearms. Got here. Excellent time. Excellent service, Classic Firearms. You guys are awesome. Took it out of the box, guys. Gave it a great GI scrubbing, you know, great GI cleaning and everything. Took it out to my range. And every other round was a failure. I was constantly clearing it. Constantly. Let me take this thing back inside. Let me go clean it again. Cleaned it, scrubbed it the whole nine yards. Lubed it until lube was pouring out of the thing every time I fired it. But it was still doing. It would fire one time and fail the next. Clear it. Fire it one time, fail the next, clear it. So I called the guys, uh, the customer service, which is great at ATI. They sent me basically all the things I needed, guys, uh, to exclude. I, I, did, I re repurposed the box, guys, to send it back. They paid for the shipping and handling, which I think is wonderful. Within about 10 days or so, guys, they sent it back to me. I thought, wonderful. Because, guys, I like the feel and the balance of an AR rifle. I just do, okay? I do. But again, guys, GI scrubbed it. They told me what was wrong. They said it was a mag catch and uh, they believe that uh, something to do with the gas system was wrong. I'm sorry, I can't remember. Uh, um, took it out of the box, guys. Gave another GI cleaning. Took it out. Per magazine, guys, let's just say about every seven rounds, there was three failures, okay? Guys, if you're going to rely on that for any reason, be it be it property protection, uh, those of you guys who believe you want to use this thing for home invasion, protection of your family or property, if those of you guys who believe a civil war will be out, not a rifle I would use, okay? While I give ATI's customer service props, kudos, thumbs up, the whole nine yards, the rifle sucked, okay? It was terrible. This, guys, is the champion between the two. I don't have that rifle anymore. As I said, guys, I traded that for this one. Knocked and loaded, land passes. Thank you guys for such a wonderful deal. Were, were ATI uh, people, uh, customer service, willing to take it back again? Yes. But guys, come on. Reliability. My challenge to every U.S. firearm manufacturer is to make a firearm as reliable and cost effective dollar for dollar versus the imports, okay? Versus the imports, versus an SKS or an AK. Guys, have you seen Rob Ski's uh, YouTube on the RAS 47? I get it, I get the argument back and forth. But let me lay this on you. For people who say you will never fire 5,000 rounds out of your rifle, do a little math here. Most of us shooters, go out, and even just us amateur guys. I would never call myself a professional shooter, but I consider myself a novice, an enthusiast, okay? But I know a lot about firearms, guys. We shoot about 100 rounds about every weekend. That's 400 rounds a month, okay? Per year, that's how many, guys? 
4,800. I think I want my rifle to last more than 4,800 rounds or one year, okay? Guys, if you have any other different opinions on this, please hit me up. I appreciate your comments, guys. I'd like to know what you're thinking also. Guys, please, this was not a anti-American video. This is not an anti-US gun manufacturer video. This is about reliability, okay? Pure and simple. Those of us in the 80s, guys, we remember buying Toyotas, Nissans and stuff because Chevy and Ford would not ante up. It's the same, guys. Let's challenge the U.S. rifle and firearm manufacturers. While I believe in buying American guys, I believe in buying reliability. Please, guys, post your comments down below. I want to know what you think, okay? For it, against it. This is Johnny the Practical Nurse. Always, guys, be practical in everything you do every day. And make sure you always clean inspect and maintenance your firearm after every time you shoot it because the time you need it you don't need it to fail on you i'm johnny the practical nurse i'll catch you next time